Today, we would like to present a portal-type spray stand built by SLF for Westphalia Surge GmbH at that company's newly erected plant in Hambrunen. Westphalia Surge is one of the world's two largest producers of milking equipment. This internationally active company offers equipment and complete systems for virtually every facet of milk production. Given the wide variety of components used here, the production process requires a coating station that can handle small series production runs without long changeover times. The installation is designed to meet X Protection Zone 2 standards with a maximum coating throughput of 10 kilograms per hour. Solvent-based primer is used here, followed by a one-component top coat. Germany's TA Luft emission law specifies an emission limit of 3 milligrams per cubic meter of air. And because this limit is not exceeded, no special license is required to operate the equipment. An endless conveyor transports the workpieces, which have maximum dimensions of 800 by 800 by 800 millimeters, through the production hall at a speed of 5 meters per minute. This morning, a primer coat is being applied to vacuum pumps. The endless conveyor now brings the workpieces to the drying oven. When full, the oven has room for 188 suspended workpieces. The conveyor travels a route that takes workpieces to several different processing stations. Typically, workpieces remain at these various stations for the following times. Application times for a top coat or base coat are typically one and a half minutes. Workpieces then move through the evaporation zone for six and a half minutes. These pumps are then dried in the oven for 31 minutes at a selectable temperature of 60 to 100 degrees Celsius. Finally, workpieces move through the cooling zone in 11 and a half minutes. The workpieces gradually enter the active spray area at their proper processing height. When needed, the coating technician can interrupt the transport process for a short period of time using a foot-operated switch in order to carefully inspect all sides of a workpiece or perform any necessary touch-up work. The newly developed Teflon-coated spray stand replaces the previous generation of spray stands, which use thin curtains of running water to collect overspray. The new technology has the following important advantages. The system allows for long maintenance intervals. Filtration performance is superior to wet filtration systems. Equipment for treating paint sludge is no longer necessary. And above all, the Teflon coated surfaces make cleaning of the spray stand simple and easy. In order to make work as comfortable as possible for the coating technician, this open spray stand has the following dimensions. The width between the two vestibules measures 3.00 meters. The height is 2.50 meters, and the depth is 2.60 meters. In the case of this portal type spray stand, the coating spray is directed into stainless steel openings, and the majority of the overspray is subsequently removed from the airflow in a Teflon coated cyclone installed above the openings. The coating particles, which are free of any other contaminants, fall into a container located beneath the cyclone. The exhaust air from the cyclone is treated in a downstream filtration mat and then released to the outdoors. Depending on the type of coating used, filtration rates of 98 to 99 percent can be achieved. The large overhead filtration system admits clean air-conditioned air, which is then extracted from the work area without being contaminated by untreated air from the rest of the production hall. After a break, the coating technician can briefly show us how much the Teflon coated surfaces simplify work. The overspray collects on the impact surfaces of the extraction system and can be easily pushed into the airstream using a plastic scraper. Workers prefer doing this after a somewhat longer pause in the work process because the coating is completely dry, no longer sticky, and easy to remove. The combined charging and discharging zone is adequately dimensioned with a length of 12 meters so that simple taping and masking work can be performed here without interruption.
The evaporation zone, the oven, and the cooling zone each have their own separate ventilation systems that are specifically adapted to each zone. The entire oven area is heated by a natural gas burner. Here, for example, only 1,000 cubic meters of fresh and exhaust air are required per hour, but 30,000 cubic meters of air per hour are recirculated. The air nozzles and extraction slits in the opposite wall ensure a uniform distribution of heat. The design of this installation and the quality of work produced here benefit from our years of experience in the fields of surface treatment, ventilation, and drying systems.